All right, y'all. I'm about to react to one of my favorite all tap good times episodes. This is the episode with James was super, super jealous of another man that Florida knew. <laughs> and you know, when you get James jealous, it's just damn right funny. Like his face expressions, you know, the way he was looking at dude, the way he was looking at Florida. Like this, this is a classic, y'all. Y'all definitely have to check this out. I'm about to jump right into this shit. I'm already left just thinking about it. All right, let's do this, y'all. Look at you looking at the flowers. Now oh, let me take that back. Well, I just happened to be passing by this florist and I saw those Japanese tea roses. It reminded me of this afternoon and I just couldn't <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who is this? What's going on and what happened this afternoon? <laughs> we just had lunch together. Lunch. James. This is Oscar Harris, the head of my department. Oscar, this is my husband, James. Hello. <laughs> and these are my children. That's Michael, Thelma, and JJ. Hello. Hey. Yeah, very handsome looking group. Well, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I just love these flowers. Thelma, will you put them in some water for me, please? Uh, there is something in the envelope for you, too. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. A tin whistle. I had to buy 25 boxes of Cracker Jacks before I found one. Go ahead, try it. See what it sounds like. All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> just as I remember. Somebody want to tell me what the hell's going on around here? Today, and I were talking about the carnival, and I was saying how when I... I don't know, James is the type of man you want to piss off, y'all. Florida, I don't know, I think she overstepped her little boundary right there, inviting another man over without James knowing. She know James' attitude. I was a kid. I had one of these tin whistles, but I lost it, and I never could find another one like it. Then why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I'd have bought you a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, James, you can't buy them. You have to get them out of the Cracker Jacks. Well, somebody tell me something. What were you two doing having lunch in the first place? Celebrating finishing the inventory. Now, we had a wonderful time once your wife got comfortable on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you want to run that by me again? James, it was a Japanese restaurant. Oh. <laughs> I understand. Oh, butterfly. La, 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 la. Oscar, we were just about to sit down to dinner. Would you care to join us? We ain't got enough food. <laughs> no, James, James, asshole. I have another engagement. Good. It was nice meeting you all. Yes. Good night. I'll see you to the door. I'll see you outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Florida, I hope you enjoy the whistle. Oh, I will, and thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Are you ready to tell me about this right now? James, you don't have to shout. Uh, I think we better get lost for a little while. Ah, uh, Dom, I want to stay. This is getting interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. You two chaps come stay on, James. Come on. <laughs> Now what is it? Because if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna pluck that turkey feather by feather. <laughs> Are you jealous? Who? Me? <laughs> no, of course not. I wish you were. What you mean by that? Well, maybe then I'll feel that you think of me as something more than somebody to sew a button on your shirt. Somebody that you think of as a woman. Well, Florida, how you think I think of you? When was the last time you made me feel like a woman? How about night before last? <laughs> James, I'm not 
talking about that? I'm talking about treating me the way a woman likes to be treated. That's the way Oscar treated me. Now, how did Oscar treat you? Well, he was kind. He was thoughtful. He even noticed that I had on a new outfit. Good night. <laughs> I didn't notice it was a new outfit. Sooner or later. Okay. What James messed up at, for one, not noticing his wife's outfit. I think that's very, very important to notice when your significant other buys something new. You want to make sure you compliment her or him on the new no outfit, you know, new shoes, new hairdo, you know, nails and stuff like I ain't really big on the nail thing. I don't really care too much about that if my you know girl got nails or whatever. But James and Florida was wrong. Florida was wrong for Vike dude over there for one thing without telling James. And James was wrong for not looking at Florida other than what she does around the house. I'm pretty sure he he loved Florida. Because I watched every episode of Good Time. So he really did love his family. But it was mostly about cooking and taking care of the house with Florida. And James, you know, he'll leave and go to work. You know, do the man stuff. What man did back in those days. You know, man still do it today. It was just a big thing back then. But yeah. If this episode has taught you one thing. Always. Always pay attention to your significant other. Boyfriend or girlfriend. It doesn't matter. Wife or husband. It doesn't matter. I always notice the little things and maybe that's something that I have to learn too and a lot of other people out there for real but this episode was one of the best I hope y'all enjoyed it and as always make sure y'all hit that subscribe button click that bell for them notifications until next time peace love and deuces